Who at 11, a game changer for solving gun crimes across the country. Technology to gather bullet DNA. I got rare access to the county's crime lab where federal agents reveal how they're tracking shooters by what their guns leave behind. This is the firing and pin impression. This is the face of a shell casing, what a bullet leaves behind when a gun is fired. The dents, the grooves, the marks left behind. It's a unique signature the gun barrel imprints on the casing as the bullet passes through. We've literally got the fingerprint, so to speak, from their firearm on these casings. The ATF has over three million images of casings collected from crime scenes in a national bullet database. When there's a digital match anywhere in the country, it's a lead. The two crimes are connected by the same gun. So now we're not just going on a hunch. We have some science behind. We have this gun. We're able to have tangible evidence to show it is it is, in fact, the same gun that was used. Detective Nicholas Rodello with Escondido PD's gang unit now works gun crimes together with his ATF partner, Special Agent Jeff Rice. Well, it's changed the game greatly. They worked this murder case. In the surveillance video, you see the shooter's car slowly approaching. He saw the victim walking down there. The man he was stalking was gunned down in the middle of the street. Twelve shell casings were left behind. These two cartridge cases were fired in the same firearms. But in this case, the break came when Rodello and Rice followed leads that led to the gun. It was test fired to compare the casings, and criminologist Scott Hoops restored the erased serial number. And it will dissolve faster under certain acids, so you can have a completely smooth surface and the serial number comes back. These technologies putting a bullseye on the bad guys. There have been 110,000 hits from the ballistic images put into the database from local, state and federal agencies. That's huge because guns do get guns do get passed around between people between gangs, between neighborhoods, between cities and states. The evidence provided by this gun gave Rodello and Rice what they needed to put a killer behind bars. And the killer in this case was sentenced to 30 years in prison. The other person in the car was given eight years. The technology of gathering bullet DNA is helping to solve gun crimes across the nation. NIBIN is the only national network that captures and compares ballistic evidence. A forensic